the satellite back. Satellite drone reset. Friendly has the satellite drone. Establish remote uplink. What's up, guys? Robot here with the Shame Gaming, bringing you a hard point game today. Uh, this is the last game as a result of the hard points I was playing for my challenges. Um, I do, however, have a blackjack game for you guys that I'm going to be bringing you um, sooner than later. So be excited for that. I hope you enjoyed the clip at the beginning. It was just a clip from me and Enos playing um, arena mode earlier today. I had a clutch run with the uplink ball to win it to keep it from going to overtime. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, so I included it at the beginning. But what I'm going to talk about today is how me and Enos met. Me and Sonny. Uh, we've been friends now since high school. Um, and, and and I want to just, just share a story about how that happened, um, how that ha that came about. Um, I started running track my sophomore year of high school. And Sonny, I'm going to call him Sonny for this video instead of Enos because it's a personal story, not a video game related story really. So he's Sonny and it's easier to say. Um, so he ran track um, on the track team as well. He was, he was the fastest guy in the school actually. Um, that's a lie. But... He was pretty good, um, and we got to know each other um, through track a little bit. We weren't—I wouldn't say we were close or anything, um, but we—we—I mean, we were acquaintances, I guess, friendly acquaintances, I guess you could say, for that first that first year. Um, and then that kind of happened for sophomore and junior year, and then senior year rolls around. We were both in a relationship. Um, at the time, and both of our girlfriends were on the track team, and so typically, what would happen um, was we would ride with our girlfriends on the bus to and from a track meet. So along came this one meet. Um, actually, a funny story to go along with this meet: I'm a distance runner, or a mid-distance runner anyway, not a sprinter. But I was on the four by two hundred meter relay, and if you don't know what this is, I'm not going to have time to explain it now. Um, but I was handing off the baton, and I actually fell because the guy that I was handing it to was faster than me, and I couldn't catch up to him. So trying to catch up to him, I ended up falling and skinning up the side of my body, basically, and it hurt really bad. Um, so I was already in a bad mood because of that. But both of our girlfriends at the time, um, neither one of us, we're not in relationships with either of these people now, of course, because uh, this was high school, but both of our girlfriends at the time, for whatever reason or another, decided that they were going to be mad at us um, on this particular day. I don't remember why or how it happened, um, but that's that's what happened. Um, and so they didn't want to sit with us on the bus on the ride home. Um, so me and Sonny ended up sitting together. Like I said, we were friendly. I mean, we were friends, I'd say, just not that close. Um, and so we sat together, and we were both obviously pissed off. Not at each other, but to each other. We could tell the other person was just angry. Um, and so we spent that that bus ride home really bonding over our relationships that were failing at the time. And, um, you know, in hindsight, they both failed for good reason. We're both better off now because of them. Um, but at the time, we were not happy about it. And that's what we bonded over. And I remember still sitting to this day, sitting in Chick-fil-A, um, just brooding and, and just and just chatting about that whole thing that was going on um, that we we were going through together, kind of, kind of really the same situations. We were experiencing some of the same things uh, from two completely different people, and we were having some of the same grievances and annoyances with it. So that's where we really got got connected. That first time we had a real deep conversation, um, and going on from there. We had similar bus rides for similar reasons past that, um, and we found out, you know, that we both had, we both shared this faith, this faith in God. Um, we both, you know, believed the same things. We both also had a love for video games, although at the time we didn't play a lot together. Um, and so we just found out we had more things in common than we thought, and it was easy to talk to each other, easy to have the other ones back, 
easy to uh, to pray for the other one. And it was a good, you know, nice to have a friend like that. Um, so we became closer friends. And then by the time we both went to college, um, I'd say we were pretty good friends. Um, we're good friends now, too. Uh, I'd say we were just as good then as we, were, we are now. Um, so... We went to college, and that's when we really got to connect over video games. We started playing MW2 together. Now, that was actually the year Modern Warfare 3 came out, but neither one of us liked it very much. So we connected over Modern Warfare 2. Um, I kind of got the privilege of, of showing Sonny some of the ropes of, of how to just play smarter in Call of Duty. And I, we were just talking about this today, actually. He's, I mean, he's come a long, long way since Modern Warfare 2. And, you know, all the credit really goes to him for that. Um, as far as you know, putting in the time and the effort to learn how to get better. But I like to say I had a small part, if any, um, in just kind of getting him to think smarter, getting him to think of how to play the game a little bit better. Um, he definitely deserves, you know, the status that he's gotten to now. Um, we connected over Modern Warfare 2 that year. Uh, we played it every day, much longer than we should have, and our grades suffered because of it. Um, in the end, you know, it all worked out for both of us, but. In hindsight, we probably could have tried a little harder at school and a little less at Call of Duty. Um, but, you know, maybe we wouldn't have, wouldn't have developed into the friendship that we have today if it wasn't for that. So um, that's kind of how we, we got to be friends. And over the years, it's, it's, it's grown or not, definitely not decreased, stayed the same or grown. Um, obviously, we both still love to play video games. Uh, that's why this channel exists. We both still love God. We both still love each other. So um, it's... It's a good, good way to express those things. Um, our love of video games and our our love for God in in one thing. And that's kind of how this channel was born. Um, it was actually something that I personally been thinking about doing as well. When Sonny approached me one day, asking me what I thought about his idea to create a Christ-centered gaming channel, um, and it was something I'd been thinking about um, and kind of wanting to do, but I don't. I didn't have a capture card at the time, and um, so I supported him in it. Um, and what ended up happening was I bought his. Roxio off him uh, when he got an Elgato, and it works all right. You know, it's not an Elgato, but it works pretty good. Um, and so that's kind of how this channel got formed. But that's that's kind of a very abridged, very vague version of how Sonny and I became friends and how we got to this point where we are today. Um, you know, I'm engaged and he's married, and, and it's hard to believe he's coming up on his one year anniversary here, um, if you can believe that, in like 20 days. Now, I was his best man at his wedding, and um, it's just crazy for me to think that a year has passed since then. Um, and then to think all the way back to our sophomore year, which was coming on eight years ago now when I started running track, and we really just started getting to know each other, that was, that was insane to me. I, I, can't, I can't even imagine that that was that long ago. Um, it seems like just yesterday we were sitting on that bus brooding about things that we really had no control over and that ended up being for the better anyway. Um, but... That's kind of that's how me and Sonny met. That's how we got to be friends. Um, this is a story from my past, both of our past, that I thought you guys would enjoy. Um, so I hope you did. This video is wrapping up here. I think I dropped 60 kills on Nuketown. By the way, I hate Nuketown. I hate that I have to play it now. I never did download it until they forced me to. Um, I don't like playing it, especially in Hardpoint. But that's another complaint for another time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the story. If you did, leave a like. As always, guys, I hope you did enjoy it. God bless. With these upgrades, you never stood a chance.